Hello, my name is Darwin Rodriguez, and I'm a teaching artist here at the Perez Art Museum, Miami. Today, we're gonna to do an art making activity based on your trip to Africa, the artwork seen behind me and in this gallery. These works of art deal with a film that was made in the 1960s about a family's trip to Africa. And this is the artist interpreting or making his own sort of reactions to this movie. So for this art making activity, you can easily do it with things that you can find around your house. So first you're gonna need some glue or some tape. I have double-sided tape, but one-sided tape works fine. You just have to make a little loop to adhere things to surfaces. And you're gonna need a pair of scissors. Scissors are for cutting out figures from old books and magazines that you might have lying around your house. So as you can see here, I have different shapes. I cut out people and familiar faces and smiling faces, some people doing activities. And I have different sizes because you can do this on different backgrounds. Over here, we have the different backgrounds that I'm using, but as always, you can get creative. So I have a paper plate, and I also have this large piece of paper. I think I'm going to use a piece of paper for some of the larger cutouts, and I'm gonna use the plate for some of the smaller cutouts. So to begin, I'm gonna start making one using the plate as our background, because I wanna work with some of the smaller cutouts that I have first. Now, we talked about how this art making activity is based on a work of art called Your Trip to Africa. So there's a story here. There's a sort of narrative, and I think I'm gonna make a story with what I'm gonna make here. So I'm thinking of how I'm gonna use these cutouts as characters in my story, and I think the story that I wanna tell starts with the llama. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more out of the llama, just so I get a bit more space and I'm going to glue him to my background, which is a circular paper plate. So I have my llama. He's the star of the show. And my llama is going to breathe fire because I think a fire-breathing llama sounds cool, sounds awesome. I mean, if you're gonna start a story with a fire-breathing llama, it's gonna be great. So there, he breathes fire. And he gets a visit from this lady. She is Gaia, the spirit of the earth, and she's going to talk to our fire-breathing llama. And she's going to tell him to take a trip. I guess I'm inspired by the title of this work of art. So he meets the spirit of the earth. And notice how I'm arranging them, that the bottom is on the outside or the perimeter of my background. So everyone is sort of like facing inward. And sort of to mirror the artwork that we have here in the gallery, because the arrangement of the paintings create this sort of like border. All right, so the spirit of the earth meets the fire breathing llama and she tells him to go meet this writer. And as you can see, this photo's in black and white. So the llama has to go back in time to find him, but the llama can obviously do that because he breathes fire and can go back in time. And when the llama goes back in time, he meets this rock band and he convinces them that they need to help him on his quest. Um, and I guess the llama has a quest now because the spirit of the earth told him he has to go back in time and do that quest. So let's get our rock band in. I think that's the bass player. And now let's glue down the guitar dude and it wouldn't be a rock band without the drums okay so we've got our rock band and we have our writer and they have to go find these three very good looking people to save the earth Let's get one more. So here's another way that you can make an art activity based on your trip to Africa. Here I have some larger cutouts and I have a square piece of paper to form my background. We're still gonna be using tape and glue stick and scissors in case we need to make any more adjustments. Based on this work of art, 
We're going to be arranging these cutouts around the outside or the perimeter of the square piece of paper. So we're gonna take one and we're going to glue just the top of it. And I'm actually just going to leave the bottom sort of like coming off of the sheet. I think it's gonna have a nice effect as we go around it. Like I said before, these are cutouts from a magazine of people that I thought had pretty smiles and nice outfits, but maybe you wanna do this with photographs of your friends and your family. Maybe not photographs, maybe you could just print them out with your own drawings and you can collage them and glue them. And we're going to leave the center empty. Maybe you can add something else to it later, if you feel like it. There we go. And notice that I'm not really like thinking too hard about where I place them. I'm just sort of trying to see what fits and where people can go. Perfect. All right, let's get a few more of these. I know that the name of this work of art is called Your Trip to Africa. Maybe you make one of these that's based on pictures of somewhere that you went, or maybe somewhere that you wanna go. All right. So this is my trip back in time, inspired by the works by Meleko Mogosi, Your Trip to Africa.